back, everyone. So he has served as communication advisor. And I want to get this straight because your resume certainly is worthy to 10 presidents, prime ministers, and even Princess Diana. Now the so-called civics dean is urging Generation Z to get out there and vote. Yeah, joining us now is political communication strategist Richard Green. Richard, quite the resume we were saying. Thank you so much Thank for being you. with us. As I us. said, because I'm old. <laughs> well, I mean, it's, it's easier when you're old. Okay, I'm sure it's more than that. You're also modest, clearly, Thank but you. you are coming here with a message. We talk about the importance of getting out to vote. You have a message for Gen Z. Why and what is it? Yeah, it's unbelievable how few young people vote. For example, in the midterm elections in 2014, 21% of 18 to 24 year olds voted. Mm -hmm. In 2018, March for Our Lives, oh my God, everyone's voting. No, it was only 31%. And <clears throat> voters 65 plus vote double or triple that. So young people say the system doesn't work for me. Well, it doesn't work for you because you don't participate in it. If young people voted, the politics would be completely different and they would get almost everything they want. Mm. How, well, how do those numbers compare to decades prior? I mean, is the number increasing? <laughs> it's always incredibly low in midterms because it's the stupidest political term ever. It sounds like a test at school that you didn't study for, so oh, I'm not gonna do that, I'm staying home. The midterms are, <laughs> and, you know, it, it needs a rebrand. Well, if you want to it appeal to Gen Z, midterms I mean, sounds so, like so an exam. I've, so yeah. I've rebranded it. So. It's the women's reproductive choice elections of 2022. Mm. It's the marijuana midterms, if you would like to decriminalize marijuana. It's the end gun violence elections of 2022, because it's all about issues, and that's how you get young people to engage. Interesting. Well, you, you, you mentioned women's reproductive rights, so the overturning of Roe versus Wade, <coughs> will an initiative like that have an impact to get young voters out there? Well, we'll see. It certainly did in, in Kansas and other places where we've already had primary elections. The, the, the biggest problem, though, is that young people don't know civics. We don't teach it anymore. And they don't know that we are only two members of Congress away from overruling what the Supreme Court did, codifying Roe v. Wade into national law, and immediately restoring reproductive rights. Now, so I say to young people, if you want that, <clears throat> you have to vote. And every single member of Congress, every single congressman, the 435, could be part of that because if the Democrats keep the House and pick up two more senators, we're gonna have a restoration of Roe v. Wade and, and reproductive rights. So if you want that, you gotta vote in every single House race, even in a blue state like California. Well, and on Southern the flip California side, can determine the direction of the country on, on reproductive rights. And on the flip side, if you don't want that, you don't voters want it, you gotta, should also exercise right, their because, right, civic rights on either side of the aisle or the debate. 100%, because if, if Republicans and Kevin McCarthy or Donald Trump become Speaker of the House, that will not happen. It, it, yeah, and then uh, you're talking about civics. So you're actually known for your 30-second civics <laughs> crash course. How does it go? You are you going to do 30 it? 30 seconds right now, I don't 30 know, seconds. I'm a little scared. Go okay. ahead. A democracy is a mathematical concept, right? And there is a magic number for the United States. Whatever you want in the United States, you can get with this magic number. It's a game. Politics is a game. People, young people like to play games. The magic number in America. Are you, you going to ask us to guess, you guess the magic is? number in America? Yeah, to get whatever you want in America. How many people do you need to elect to get whatever you want in America? 435? That's 435 members of the House, right? The magic okay, number. Okay, so half of that. More than half, a little more than half. Plus? Plus a little more than half of the Senate. Plus? Plus the president. Look at this. <laughs> Your civics crash course, no, 30 no. seconds okay. or less. <laughs> so, so, it's, so what, it's, it's 30 seven, senators. 270. Okay, so, so 218 in the House who want what you want, it passes the House. 30, 51 30. in the Senate, they can change the filibuster rule to create a carve out for your bill. It passes the Senate and then you need a president to sign it. So 270 to pass anything you want on either side of the aisle and also to elect a president, 270 electoral votes. Well, speaking of the, the president, magic number. A, a lot of midterm elections tend to show pushback towards the sitting president. Do you foresee that in this case as well? I think this is a bizarre year. I think it's completely different because of Roe v. Wade and so many other things that are going on. I, and, and of course, inflation and the economy, right? So I think it's, gonna, it's one of the most bizarre election cycles ever. I think anything can happen. The fact that it's gonna rain here 
on Tuesday is going to affect the election mm. as well. You think it'll limit turnout yeah, because of it the will, weather? Because a lot of people stay home. Okay. Uh, I want to ask before we go. You said civics isn't taught enough in schools anymore, and you you know want Gen Z to have better understanding of civics. What do you wish Gen Z all knew about civics? Well, <clears throat> I wish that they would go to my TikTok. Oh, oh you old, but you have a TikTok? Hey, man, come on, come on. <laughs> Not that old. You're with the time. There's some really great old people on TikTok these days. Um, <laughs> it's called at Civics Dean, at Civics Dean. And I have a midterm election quiz where you can learn everything you need to know about midterm election civics. And at 6 o'clock today with some celebrities, I'm going to be, be doing a live run through of this midterm election civics quiz. Ooh, what celebs? I'm sorry? Which celebrities? Ooh, you have to tune in oh, to find that's out. A tune in, that's all right. A tease. Here we go. All right, we've got to go record our TikTok. Think with you, with you. We'll yeah, do that after the way, segment. By the way, really good. Very few people come up with that answer. Oh, well, you helped. And if I you gave it, me, you, you oh, nudged Lauren, me. that was impressive. You nudged no, that, me. I, honestly, I've shared that. I've asked that question so many times to so many people. You, that's one of the best answers ever. Oh. If you had a few more minutes, you would have done the math. You would have gotten it right. Richard Green, you're welcome here anytime. <laughs> <laughs> or you can head to richardgreen.org. Thank you so much for being here. You can also follow him on social media, too.